Okay, in this episode of Another 52 Licks, we're going to talk about one of my favorite dudes, my favorite drummers. This is Tarion Gully, Tank. Uh, I live in Atlanta, uh, and Tank is here, and he's a great dude. And this is another guy, just like Lauren L. Lewis and uh, Kendrick Scott. Great writer, great composer. Check out his original stuff. Uh, he's got a lot of cool stuff online. Uh, phenomenal player. Uh, he's going to do. He's taking this open drum solo. Uh, at the beginning of one of these tunes and he plays this cool, kind of little hip fairly like it just kind of goes by but it has a, has a lot of things about it that gives it a lot of pocket it's kind of really cool has some cool variations let's check that lick out so i hear that lick as as being in time, I hear I hear it as so we're going to talk about how he's phrasing that in a second. But the actual sticking snares off is left, right, right foot, foot, right. That's how I hear it. And if, so first get that sticking down. Then you're really aiming for the first left and the last right, right? So get that, get the beginning and end so that it's phrased correctly and it's not just a series of five notes. But it's a hip little phrase because it's, it's a five note phrase. Obviously also sounds good with the snares on. Obviously, probably sounds maybe a little better with the snares off, but sometimes in the middle of a solo, you don't have to be like, hey, I'm going to get this thing off, or I'm going to play my... Okay, right, you want to be able to just play it when it when it comes out. Uh, and obviously, it can sound cool, you know. There's lots of cool phrasing uh, things that you can do. Some of that will be in the PDF if you guys want to download that. I want to talk about two variations. Really simple, and this is something I harp on a lot on my website, Jazz Drummers Resource, is how to take a single lick and then turn it into your own. Find other ways to use it so that it's not just, man, if I don't start this right and, and come out of it right, and it's not the right tempo, and it's not in 5-4 because that's what the original lick was in, I can't use it. We want this all this language to be usable. So there's the five-note version. If you want to simplify it or if you want to play it at a faster tempo and keep it nice and clean, I remove one of the bass drum notes. Easy enough, and again, that works fast. And now it becomes obviously one e and a two and a three e and like that. Conversely, if it's slower or you just kind of want to beef it up, you can add a note. Now, I'm, the note I'm going to add is going to be uh, a second floor tom note. So. So learn that five note phrase, get the de, 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 get the beginning and the end, and then you got a four note version of it and a six note version of it, right? So uh, fun phrase to play, and uh, just like the other guys, check out a whole bunch more Terry on Gully. Uh, a great drummer, great dude, great composer. Uh, should be um, needs to be heard as much as humanly possible. So uh, we'll continue uh, with kind of dealing with some of these, uh, you know masters of today we'll do a few more of them and then we'll probably rotate on to something else i tricked you there there's no there's no paradiddle in that one so enjoy a week off from paradiddle madness as well as last week from larnell but we'll, we'll, we'll circle back around to it next time see you in the next one good luck